In a world filled with turmoil, some stories remain with us forever, true and full of inspiration. Today, we delve into an extraordinary story about a little girl from a small town who became a famous author with the legendary Harry Potter series. This is the story of J.K. Rowling, the creator of the magical world of Harry Potter. This is a tale of a young girl living in a small town who had a passion for writing from the tender age of six. She penned her first story about a rabbit named Rabbit, who had measles. She narrated this story to her mother, who was so impressed and praised her effort, encouraging her to write more. In school, she was often shy and didn't socialize much. She lived in a fantasy world and always wrote in a small notebook. At 15, she faced a profound loss when her beloved grandmother passed away. But misfortunes never come alone. Her relationship with her father deteriorated and her mother was diagnosed with a severe brain illness. Her mother's condition worsened, leading to her passing away, plunging J.K. Rowling into deep sorrow. Life continued, and one day she spotted an advertisement for an English teaching position in Portugal in a local newspaper. She was seeking a job and a fresh start, so she seized the opportunity and moved to Portugal to teach. One evening, she met a television journalist in a bar. They bonded over their shared love for the works of Jane Austen. They grew close and eventually spent more time together. After a year, they married and were blessed with a beautiful daughter. However, her life took another dark turn. She became a victim of domestic violence, and one day her husband threw her out of the house. She left the country with her newborn daughter, unemployed and living on state benefits. Facing the challenge of raising her child alone was the darkest period of her life. She was so poor that friends had to help pay her rent, and sometimes she would go without food so her daughter could eat more. She considered herself a complete failure and seemed destined for endless misfortune. She fell into deep depression and lost hope. She attempted suicide once, but her daughter inspired her to seek help. Finally, she decided to return to what she did best. Writing fiction. Writing provided an escape, and she often went to cafes to write while her daughter slept. Even though she couldn't afford enough food at the cafe, she ordered just one coffee to avoid being kicked out. Thus, she completed the first three chapters of her novel. She sent her story to a publisher, but it was quickly rejected. She sent it to another publisher, with the same result. Her mailbox filled with rejection letters. After sending the story to twelve different publishers and being rejected by all, she began to lose confidence in her book. Finally, one day, an editor at Bloomsbury happened to see her manuscript. Fortunately, his eight-year-old daughter was present and was very curious to read the complete story. This prompted the editor to decide to publish her book. However, the editor advised her to find a full-time job, saying that writing children's fiction would not earn much money. In June 1997, at the age of 31, her first novel, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, was published with an initial run of only 1,000 copies. As readers enjoyed the story, demand for her book skyrocketed. Months later, her book won its first award, the Nestle Smarties Book Prize. She became one of the best-selling authors of all time. Her first book, Harry Potter, and the Philosopher's Stone is one of the best-selling books ever, and her seven-book series has sold over 450 million copies worldwide. The films based on her books have grossed $7.7 .7 billion at the box office. In 2004, Forbes magazine named J.K. Rowling the first person to become a billionaire by writing books. Her success did not come overnight. She faced numerous challenges and rejections while raising her child alone and battling depression. All those failures made her stronger and helped her complete her first novel. 
Despite her wealth and fame, she never forgot the hardships and pain she endured. She donated so much of her wealth to charity that she lost her billionaire status in 2011. J.K. Rowling's story demonstrates that hard work truly pays off. From her life, we learn that if you have a dream and face rejection, you should not let it stop you. If you encounter difficulties, do not let them defeat you. Use them as a foundation, not a conclusion. Living a life without failure is impossible, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all. In that case, you fail by default. These are J.K. Rowling's words from her commencement address at Harvard University. This is true inspiration from a real-life story. Thank you for watching. From her story, we learn that in life, we will face many challenges and difficulties, but the important thing is not to lose faith in ourselves and our dreams. Do not let failures or rejections immobilize you. Remember that every writer and every successful person must go through initial steps and uncertain feelings. We can learn from J.K. Rowling that even when mired in difficulties, we can find creativity and strength within ourselves to overcome. Remember, each of us has the power to write our own story. You can achieve great things without having to become a billionaire or famous. All you need is faith and dedication to what you love. Thank you for accompanying me on this inspiring journey. If you find this story meaningful and worth sharing, please share it with those around you. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next stories about dedication and success in life. Remember, nothing is impossible if we believe in ourselves and continually pursue our passions. Let's create memorable stories and become those who constantly strive in life. Thank you for watching. Love and take care of each other, and we'll see each other in the next stories on my channel. Wishing you health and success.